Now let's uh, continue our discussion about the solution of the linear homogeneous uh, recurrence relation of degree 2. Uh, one of the popular examples related to this is the Fibonacci uh, series. So the recurrence relation uh, for the Fibonacci numbers is given by f of fn is equal to fn minus 1 plus fn minus 2 and in this case the initial conditions that are given to us is f0 is equal to 0 and f1 is equal to 1. Now since this is of the degree of 2 the characteristic equation that we'll obtain is r square minus r minus 1 is equal to 0 and again this is a quadratic equation so the roots will be using the formula minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac by 2a since this is of the form of uh, ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 so this is a generalized way of obtaining the roots of this quadratic equation and similarly uh, when we apply this to our recurrence relation which in itself is a quadratic equation so we'll obtain two roots let's call one of them as r1 and that will be equal to 1 plus under root 5 by 2 and r2 is equal to 1 minus under root 5 by 2 2. So we have the roots. Now if we try to find the solution using this equation, what we'll get is f of n. So instead of a of n we have f of n here because that represents the Fibonacci numbers of Fibonacci series is equal to alpha 1 times r1 raised power n. So 1 plus under root 5 by 2 raised power n plus alpha 2 times 1 minus under root 5 by 2 raised power n. So this is the solution. But alpha 1 and alpha 2 is unknown to us. And at the same time, the initial conditions can be helpful in some ways because f of z f0 is equal to 0 and f1 uh, is equal to 1 so if n in this case is equal to 0 what we'll get is f0 is equal to alpha 1 times 1 plus root 5 by 2 raised power 0 plus alpha 2 times 1 minus root 5 by 2 raised power 0 and we know that anything raised power 0 is 1 so this will be equal to f of f0 is equal to alpha 1 times 1 plus alpha 2 times 1 which is L, then the, this will be equal to alpha 1 plus alpha 2 and at the same time we know that f of 0 is equal to 0 which is given to us so you can say alpha 1 plus alpha 2 is equal to 0. Then let's apply the same thing for f of 1 or f1. So f1 will be equal to in the generalized in the general equation this general equation alpha 1 times 1 plus root 5 by 2 raised power 1 plus alpha 2 times 1 minus root 5 by 2. Now if you if we focus on this part, what it will get, give to us is, what we'll obtain here is alpha 1 is equal to minus alpha 2. So using this thing and this relation, 
let's call this one let's call this one let's call this as one let's call this two so using uh, the using this in equation two so so putting the value of putting alpha one is equal to minus alpha two in equation two what we'll get is f one is equal to alpha one or since this is uh, alpha two is equal to uh, since alpha one is equal to minus alpha two or you can also claim that alpha two is equal to minus alpha one so both mean the same thing so alpha one times one plus root five by two minus alpha one times one minus root five by two So alpha one and alpha one is common in both these terms. So let's take this out. All we are left with is one plus root five minus one minus and minus will be plus plus root five by two. This and this will cancel out. So f one is equal to alpha 1 times 2 root 5 by 2 this and this will cancel f1 is equal to alpha 1 times root 5 and we know that f1 which was given to us is equal to 1 so it was given because it was the initial condition so one f1 was equal to one and this is alpha one times root five so this is because it was given by initial condition so you can say that alpha one is equal to one by root five and at the same time we know that alpha two is equal to minus alpha 1 so we already know the value of alpha 1 therefore alpha 2 will be equal to minus 1 by root 5 we have both these values then we can put it in the equation which gives us the solution which is uh, this one then f n will be equal to 1 by root 5 times 1 plus root 5 by 2 raised power n minus 1 by root 5 which we obtained here or alpha 2 in this case times 1 minus root 5 by to raise power n so this is the solution of this equation this recurrence relation which represents the Fibonacci or Fibonacci numbers now this was about the solution or solving the linear homogeneous equations with degree 2 now uh, in other lectures will be discussing uh, when the roots are repeated so the idea is same but the roots are repeated the roots are similar